morning, you guys. Had to do a little extra setup this morning. I got busy painting and cleaning up over the weekend, and uh, I got myself set up back here, which I hope is a little bit better for us. We're doing chess today, and um, um, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, um, abs at the end because it's a quick workout. Um, and it's challenging. So your first one, I'm up on an inclined bench so that you can see uh, my movements. Uh, you could be on a flat bench and you can be on the floor. Okay? So, ISO hold means we're holding it out here in a nice bunch of contraction. And then we're going to go alternating. Okay? So that's a dumbbell ISO, alternating flat bench. All right, I'm just making sure that we're all set here. All right, and I think, um, start with a moderate weight because our next set is heavy. It's uh, eight rep sets. Um, here we go, okay. All set, all set, good weekend everyone. Yeah, Bill's lost, but that's, Oh well, next year they say. ISO, hold, alternating, bench press. So down here and support your body with your feet planted. Two and two. Ten and ten. Take it up to the top. Put it together and come down safely. All right. When you're using a little bit heavier weight, it seems almost impossible. I can't lift that weight. But what's truly difficult is to um, make the transition from here to up there. And if you get into the proper um, habit of rocking and rolling it back, it makes it that much easier to use weights that actually challenge your chest, okay? So these are straight sets, that means we do all three bang, 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 row, no superset, nothing in between, okay? So, a second set, uh, ISO hold, alternating press. <sighs> Safe, thoughtful, <sighs> and then move. to the top, together, and down. If you've chosen the right weight that's going to challenge you perfectly, you're already starting to feel the challenge at your chest area here, okay? But you should be able to um, manage the next set with good rest. So that's how you, from day to day, you have to decide on your weights and what you're capable of, eh? There we go. So we got one more set, dumbbell, iso, isometric, <laughs> alternating, flat bench press. There's a lot of words there, and I know they scare you, but I was saying to the group earlier in the earlier post that oftentimes I write a lot down on those boards so that I remember what I want to do. <laughs> and it's not to confuse you or intimidate you. It's all very simple stuff, all right? Third set.
and 10. Alrighty, so at this point, we're moving into another press movement with tempo. So you're gonna press up one and slow the eccentric down. Press up, slow it on the return, okay? Building muscle in the eccentric phase, the lengthening phase of the movement. Um, eight, set, eight reps, that means less reps to do, so could be more weight, and I'm gonna give that a try. Um, And I can always go back down to my other weights if I can't handle this, correct? Dumbbell flat bench press, or I'm on an incline so you can see, it could be on the floor. You're all good. So count is one, two, three, up. One, two, three, even four, right? Slow on the eccentric. and down. Just be aware that when you slow this movement down at the bottom, you almost want to stop and you might be tempted. It might just be a natural movement to bong at the bottom, to bounce it, to get it going back up. So if you can just focus on that bottom transition to contract the muscle to bring the uh, weights back up. Otherwise, you're bouncing at the bottom and causing problems, okay? Eight reps, dumbbell flat bench press. two down. Yeah, yeah, I just really need you to be careful down there. Even just thinking about it and um, cautioning you against it. <laughs> My arm's going into that flicky place. <coughs> we have one more set of dumbbell bench press and then we're going on to push-ups. Uh, three sets, straight sets. All right. So you'll do 10 or maximum reps in good form, rest, back again, maximum reps in, in good form, trying for 10. All right. one did me in. Good. So when we come back, <clears throat> we're moving on to flies and we're going to use the same count, same timing. So I'm going to get a, a lighter set of dumbbells. Generally, flies use less weight. In general, all right? Um, three sets, 10 reps, push-ups. Okay?
Good stuff. Remember to get all the way down, chest to the floor. If you can't make it in a full out position, you modify. Um, that's the name of the game. It's not, can I do a full push up? It's, how can I do a full push up in good form? How can I get it out? All right? Some days, you know, you'll slam out a bunch of push ups and feel like a million bucks. And other days, it feels like you're going to break your teeth. So just go easy on yourselves. challenge because we're doing chest. This is a chest day. Yes, there's lots of other muscles that are helping support the movement. Auxiliary muscles jumping in to help. Uh, bicep, tricep, mostly tricep on a chest day. But um, this is where you're focusing on, okay? And the soreness generally comes in here <laughs> on the day after. Drinking a cup of coffee and you lose it. Nine and ten, these last few should feel difficult. They should um, be challenging. So, um, those were our push ups. We're going through um, ten reps again with the ISO hold, but this time it's in a fly. All right? Stability through your core, you're going to have to center your feet or stabilize your feet so that your core, um, it's going to um, work to keep you supported on your bench, okay? So, 10 and 10, dumbbell iso hold fly. Open it up, and here we go for one and one. Good. All right. Yeah. Towards the middle of that set, I started feeling, oh, the tension in my hand starting to build the um, grip on my weight. So you don't want to lose that control, but you don't want to cause a lot of tension. So you have to bring it into this movement here. It's almost like you're press pushing against that weight to bring it up, and that's where the pressure needs to be as opposed to a death grip. All right, so just play with it. Uh, learn to become aware of it. At first, you know, it's gonna be difficult to avoid it, and you're probably not gonna cause huge harm, but over time, um, it could. <laughs> so, awareness is key.
two reps. Yeah, they feel like, oh, I really gotta focus in and keep control. So, um, one more set of ISO. Because it feels like it, it's, it takes forever to do it. <laughs> the alternating work is time consuming, but it's important, you know, to work one side and then the other side independently. All right, last set. Let's go for this uh, fly. ISO hold. Just in time for me. <laughs> that one shoulder was starting to say, okay, enough's enough. <laughs> Let it be. So now we're on up to uh, just a straight dumbbell uh, fly. But we're doing the tempo again, so you're gonna open up. Um, hang on, we're gonna pump it up. And then one, two, three, four. So the eccentric for the fly is on the way down. All right? So that, uh, muscle is stretching under tension, all right, and that's a big part of the movement. And then one up, got it. So this is an eight rep set. Whew. And then just a few more push-ups. <clears throat> all right. So I'm counting one, two, three, four, up. Two, three, Adjust your weights if you need. You're pretty exhausted after. It doesn't feel like we've done a lot, but we've done a lot, all right? By the time we get here, you know, there's some shaky going on and the tension is going on and bouncing is going on. So this is where you recheck, all right? Do the tour. How's it all going? All right? Oh. Here we go. did three. So forgive me, I'm going to do one more set because I feel like we can. And if you're um, at three and you're out, take a break. We're going back down to push-ups. If not, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but one more set isn't going to kill us. So let's just go ahead with
how about you? Um, second time we uh, visit the push-ups, you're going to be more fatigued than you were for the first set. So um, pick your modification. I think what I want to do is try one full set and see how far I can get, and then we'll move on. Yes, certainly challenging, but what I'm noticing is not as hard as I thought it would be because we've warmed up as well. So yeah, we're fatigued from all the work we've done, but also all those muscles and um, fibers are fired up. So uh, don't doubt that just because you've gone through a long workout that you won't be able to do something at the end. At that point, your brain and everything's connected and working together. So. Give it a go. Let's go. And 10, good. So I went down at seven went down for a modified so that I could keep good form and finish up my 10 reps. Good, we got one more set of uh, push-ups and then we're going for the pullovers. Those are nice, a nice stretch um, and a nice finisher. Alrighty, shall we? And 10, just, just in the nick of time. Again, that shoulder's saying again, Karen, I just told you not to do anymore. Uh... All right, let's take this home. This is calling for one set of 20. You could do two sets of 10. You could do three sets of 10. Um, finish up your workout in a way that's gonna make you feel good. Uh, stretch you out a little bit, bring you into uh, the end, the end of our Monday workout. So, uh, with a heavier weight, because you can handle a heavier weight, I like to grasp the, um, the ball of the uh, dumbbell, and then, then it can um, swing on top of my head. So as I go over my shoulders, it can follow. If I counted right, <laughs> oh, that felt 
really, really good. If you're ready to head, head to the showers, stretch. Um, you know, roll or stretch any um, area that uh, you're rehabilitating. This is a good time. Um, your body's warm and your brain is engaged. And other than that, we have some cardio tomorrow. Um, both of the cardios are a little bit different, a little bit interesting. So, oh, I think it's on Thursday that we do the complexes, which is, it's fun, it's different, you'll enjoy it. So, that being said, I will see you tomorrow for cardio. Have a great day, you guys. Thanks for coming out on a Monday with me. It was a hard one, you know? Some days you just, you just don't feel like it, but man, you feel good afterwards. Okay, enjoy your day. See ya.